some. Um, we have something on that? <laughs> no? Everybody looks messed up and everything, so this is something important going on. Um, I'm going to turn the mic over to Dr. Adams um, for any comments to start the tenure celebration. I'd like to welcome everybody here this evening, uh, family and friends of our people that are up for tenure, and uh, I just the group that we have tonight, four teachers and one administrator, have really exceeded the expectations of professional excellence that we expect for everybody within the school district. And it's uh, just a really good group tonight. So what you'll hear tonight, a little bit, uh, maybe some humor weaved in, but the principals will recognize the accomplishments of each person. And uh, I don't know if the uh, individuals would then like to say a word or two, but we'll go ahead and do that prior to the beginning of the meeting. And we'll start off with the Cherry Lane principal, Angela Aguilar. Good evening, everybody, and good evening, Dr. Adams, members of the Board of Education. I am pleased to present to you Dina Martinez as a candidate for tenure for the 2018 school year. Dina, can you come up and join us? completed her undergraduate work at SUNY Oneonta and she received her master's in literacy from the College of New Rochelle. She joined our Cherry Lane family as a K2 reading specialist in, uh, in 2015, uh, where she has consistently shown academic excellence in her approach to classroom instruction. One of Dina's many strengths is that she has built strong relationships, strong caring relationships with her students, her parents, her colleagues over these last few years. She has a great attitude and she puts her heart in everything that she does. Now, she also loves to shop. <laughs> and she never misses a chance for a slice of pie at a faculty meeting or some sort of PD. Now, rumor has it that Ryan, her husband, has had to make quite a bit of space in the closet recently. And he has asked her to just slow it down a little bit. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Dina is a dedicated caring, hardworking, and motivated, motivated educator that is not afraid to take risk. She has successfully worked directly with administration, PTA, and her colleagues to bring new literacy-based programs to Cherry Lane. And this includes just a few Family Fun Literacy Night, Reading Across America, and the Rockland Boulders Reading Challenge. She continues to grow and reflect as an education practitioner. We are very lucky to have her here at the Suffern Central School District and I have to say that I feel very lucky and blessed to be her principal. Congratulations, Dina. Next, we have the principal from R.P. Connor, Kelly Dow. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I speak tonight on behalf of Mrs. Ivelisse Sanchez, if she can come up. Ivelisse. Mrs. Sanchez has been teaching for over 20 years, including a year spent teaching overseas in the Middle East. During her career, she has worked with groups of students from pre-K to fifth grade. She holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in elementary education, two Masters of Science, one in early child education, the other in TESOL, a bilingual extension, and recently completed her advanced certificate in literacy. She is an alumnus of Nyack, Lehman, New Paltz, and Mercy Colleges. During her probationary period at Suffern Central, she worked in both Montebello Elementary School and R.P. Connor. While working at Montebello, she helped with the Multicultural Night and was part of the Language Proficiency Team. Mrs. Jan Sanchez shares her depth of literacy understanding with teachers by pushing into classrooms and co-teaching writing. The students in second grade shared that Mrs. Sanchez teaches us in a fun way. 
The students said it feels like work and fun at the same time. <laughs> they did. <laughs> That's true. Mrs. Sanchez once gave them whistles and told them they were writing coaches. <laughs> Mrs. Sanchez always has a smile on her face and makes learning fun and engaging. She utilizes technology programs such as Seesaw in the classroom to further engage her students. Mrs. Sanchez has built an outstanding and collaborative relationships with the families of her students and she regularly serves as an interpreter, translator for parents. She is a part of the New York State TESOL professional community and a valued member of the Suffern Central School District. She is joined here this evening by her husband, Javier. Hello, Javier. <laughs> and her two sons, Abel and Alex. It is my pleasure to recommend Eva Lise for tenure, and I am confident that she will continue to be a wonderful member of the faculty for years to follow. Congratulations. Muchísimas gracias a todos. Es un placer estar aquí y sobreviví los tres años. Uh, translation, um, thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you to the board. I survived these three years. <laughs> You'll have to ask me one day. Um, and it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Thank you. Now the principal from the middle school, Mr. Brian Fox. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Dr. Adams, members of the Board of Education, and everyone gathered here tonight, I'm extremely pleased to be presenting Sabrina Claro to you tonight as the candidate for I saved the last vestiges of my voice for this today, so people were pretty happy I didn't talk too much today. Uh, so a little bit about Sabrina. She's originally from New Jersey and is here tonight with her children, Thomas and Hannah. Her husband is in Texas on business right now. Where are Thomas and Hannah? Oh, in the back. See, okay, her two dogs, Mabel and Sugar, couldn't make it tonight, but they're here with us in school. Uh, Sabrina attended the University of Oregon, achieving a bachelor's in English literature, and then NYU, where she received her master's in special education. One of the things that made Sabrina stand out for us during the interview process was the wealth and diversity of experience she had and would bring with her to the job here at Suffer Middle School. She had worked at the Epic School in Fairlawn, New Jersey, which is a school for autistic children. She worked for the New York City Board of Education for eight years in middle school 44, teaching self-contained classes in grades six, seven, and eight, and then the Isaac Newton Middle School as a seventh grade co-teacher as well. Finally, Sabrina worked at the Summit Children's Residence Center in Nyack teaching high school English literature for another four years. So um, here she's been an integrated co-teacher on Team Sigma for the past three years. Sabrina had some big shoes to fill. She was taking the place of a teacher who had kind of been an institution here for a number of years and she certainly made her own way and earned a reputation as an excellent and dependable teacher. But what truly makes Sabrina special is how she goes about her teaching. She has a quiet confidence about her and she has this amazing ability to integrate into the classroom, becoming more than just someone else in the room. Sabrina is a co-teacher in the truest sense of the term. She assists all students, but most of all, the students in her charge consistently succeed in their core classes. They exhibit positive social emotional growth and increased skill development and are well prepared for eighth grade in high school. While Sabrina has taken on responsibilities outside, uh, Sabrina has taken on responsibilities outside the classroom here as well. She's agreed to serve on our Essential Element Schools to Watch Steering Committee, which I think you agreed to do, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure. She has participated in coaching girls on the run club. Uh, she, Sabrina is also one of the founding members of the Kind Campaign here at SMS. And if you don't know what that is, it's a program to bring awareness and healing to the negative and lasting effects of girl against girl bullying. Uh, it's a, and it's a program which has met with great success here. Uh, Team Sigma teachers, when you ask them about Sabrina, they will tell you they know when Sabrina's having a good or a bad day based on how many pieces of chocolate she has taken from them. <laughs> a one chocolate day is a great day. A five chocolate day might indicate something a bit more significant. 
every teacher on her team, either they've been ordered or they already know they need to keep chocolate readily available for Sabrina in their desk just in case. Tack on some Starbucks, which she almost always has in her hand, and she's never at a loss for any energy. Uh, she loves to run, and she participates in 10 mile runs and half marathons every year. I know her and her family love to travel. Her and her husband are going to take the kids to Europe this year, which sounds like an incredibly difficult and courageous thing to do. <laughs> But uh, Sabrina, we're very thankful you're here with us at SMS and your hard work here has led to this very lengthy uh, and recommendation for tenure. So congratulations. Now Mr. Pat Breen, the high school principal. Right. Before I begin, I'd like to uh, thank the Board of Education, Dr. Adams, for continued support of the staff, students at Suffern High School. I'd also like to congratulate all the tenure recipients here this evening. I'm honored to introduce two staff members from Suffern High School. One is a faculty member, the other is an administrator. Um, <laughs> first, I'd like to call up Nancy Rodriguez. Nancy is here with her parents this evening. We're happy to have you. Nancy's background is a BA in English and Anthropology from the University of Notre Dame, a Master's in Teaching from Fordham University, as well as a Master's in Education and Administration from Lehman College, and a uh, Master's in TESOL, sorry, yes. Uh, previous work experience. Nancy has more than 24 years of experience coming to Suffern High School uh, and was a teacher in the New York City Department of Education as an English teacher and as a department chair. She also spent time in, correct me if I said this wrong, Sekola Saputra, an Ivy International School in Sur Surabaya, Indonesia, uh, as an ENO English uh, department chair. So uh, a lot of experience uh, coming to our building. Uh, at Suffern High School, Nancy has taught ENL English 9, 10, and 11, as well as a co-taught ENL 10 and 11 class. Nancy's been a great addition to Suffern High School. We sought and found an experienced teacher who could rise to the demands of not only helping our ELL students, many with an interrupted formal education, but also someone who could effectively collaborate with faculty and staff. Over the past three years, Nancy has worked hard to develop and shape our ENL curriculum and meet the needs of her students. In addition, she's also contributed to helping many of our faculty develop instructional strategies through professional development workshops on best practices for teaching our ELL students. I just want to point out one of the most amazing projects I ever saw was uh, done by Nancy, and it was an inter interdisciplinary project between our ENL students and our art students and our art teachers. Uh, and this uh, experience, I think it was more than just a project, uh, enabled our students who were very new to everything, uh, it gave them a true voice uh, that, that just it was a complete bridge uh, for communication and it took the language out of the equation and uh, it was just a great project and uh, just a, a small example of the great work Nancy's been doing at Suffern High School. So we're very happy you're here and we want to keep you and again <laughs> congratulations Ms. Nancy. Next, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, one of our high school administrators, Mr. William Castellane. It's so unfair that Billy brought his family here tonight because everybody has like one name to mention. I have like six to do right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my That's best. <laughs> Billy's joined here tonight uh, with his wife, Megan, his sons, Liam, Declan, Seamus, and his daughters, don't say it, Quinlan and Isla. That was just like a Christmas thing for me and all those guys. But anyway, um, so again, I'm going to keep my uh, comments short, I mean brief. Um, really, really graduated. <laughs> SUNY Potsdam with a BA in Social Studies and received his Master's from Mount St. Mary College. 
He is currently enrolled in a doctoral program at Seton Hall University. Billy's no stranger to Suffern Central. Prior to coming to Suffern High School, Billy served as the Director for Elementary Student Services in our PPS department, and before that was an AP and Principal at Rockland BOCES, overseeing many of the programs throughout the county, including the in-house BOCES program at Suffern High School. At Suffern, Billy has contributed significantly to improving the effectiveness of our student resource team, as well as providing additional support for students and teachers in the area of RTI, which is response to intervention. One recent example that illustrates this, about two years ago, uh, Billy introduced a program called Achieve 3000 to a small group of teachers. Um, the one thing I was worried about with Billy is that his very loud voice and tends to scare the teachers away. <laughs> but no, that wasn't the case. He's uh, meticulous at bringing teachers together and working around a common goal, and that's exactly what he did. He expanded that program now to the entire ninth grade over the past three years, and it's had tremendous success. Uh, the results have been very positive thus far. So this is just a small example of the work, uh, great work Billy's doing. In addition, he's coordinated much of the professional development for our ENL teachers and continues to cons uh, facilitate improvements that enhance the learning of those students in our building. I am also grateful uh, to work with highly dedicated uh, administrators, uh, an administrative team at the high school. Uh, Billy has just added to that over the past few years. I know many people in this room know him from the work he's done. Uh, he's brought a tremendous amount of expertise and relationships to the building that have really uh, made us better and that's really the goal at the end of all this. I know this is a short step on his leadership journey and I wish him uh, continued success. I didn't mean that one. I didn't mean that one. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll just end it at that. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Leader. I just want to say thank you everyone. Suffering is a great place. <laughs> so school board or members of the board, I, I hope that you got a sense for the professional experiences of the candidates tonight. It's really a group of excellence, and I would like to recommend to the board their approval of their tenure, and I do so without reservation. So in a few minutes, the board will hopefully take action, but we have to wait till 7.30 to get started. So we're done a few minutes early, and uh, we'll get started here in just a few minutes, okay? So thank you.